Hey, we're here with Craig Chasla. Craig is the CEO and co-founder of Tactus. And what Tactus is, is a technology that actually a, a physical keyboard kind of morphs out of a touch screen to give people that physical keyboard experience while also using a touch screen device. So That's right. if you could, you know, just explain to us how this works. It's very interesting. It's kind of hard to, uh, to imagine if you mm -hmm. haven't used it yourself. How does this actually work? Sure. So what we have here is the world's first tactile touchscreen. What we're creating with our tactile touchscreen is real physical buttons that dynamically come in and out of, of the screen. So it's controlled by the applications you're using. What we do at Tact is we replace a normal window with what we call our tactile layer. It's, and that's a window that's filled full of micro channels that are filled with a liquid. And the underlying technology is microfluidics. What we do is to create the physical buttons is we change the pressure of that fluid. And when we pressurize the fluid, the buttons pop out of the screen. And this, for example, in this case, we have a QWERTY keyboard, so that we, we get the physical QWERTY keyboard coming out of the screen of this device. Yeah, I have to admit, it, feel, it feels really cool. I mean, mm -hmm. and just watching them and feeling them kind of recede back into, into yeah. the, the display is very, it, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it, it, I have to say, it has to really be experienced to, to, yeah. to really believe that, yeah, you can create something physical out of the screen. And it's not a sort of trick of your senses. These buttons are about a millimeter tall, and it's something real and physical. So you, it starts to feel like a real keyboard. Now, this is still a prototype, but it, it shows you what, what we can do in uh, Tactus in terms of creating this next generation user interface. Right, so so the technology itself is called microfluidics. That's correct. Where else, I mean, to give people an idea of where else this is applied, like sure. wh where else could we could we find this kind of technology? So microfluidics itself has been around for 20 plus years. It originally be became commercialized in inkjet printers, so probably most people have an, a microfluidic product in their homes. Today, more, more of the recent appli new applications have been around what's called lab on the chip, where small scale measurements of, say, bl bl for blood analysis are done using microfluidics. It's a very sort of efficient way, fast way to do analysis. What we're doing is we've taken this established mature technology and we've, we've applied it to a very real problem, which is how do you make touchscreens more usable, particularly the tactile part? Because we are, as humans, we're sort of fundamentally tactile. We want to be able to feel the screen. And that's what we've done at Tactus. Right. So I'm curious, as the co-founder of this mm -hmm. company, what was the aha moment for you of just, was it annoyance at using an iPhone or you was, know, just desire for a better keyboard experience on touchscreen? It, well, it does go back to the, back to the iPhone. So when, yeah. when the first iPhone came out, I was a BlackBerry user, and I saw the iPhone <laughs> like that looks great. I, the touchscreen is wonderful, but I can't do without my BlackBerry buttons. I want something physical, and it was that aha moment of well, I can solve that problem by applying this microfluidic technology to, to to that issue. And over the last few years, at is what we've we've been working on both the IP and also the technology to enable that. And, and that's what's led us to today to have this, this integrated demo. Yeah, so other than, for example, using a, looks like a seven inch tablet here, mm -hmm. where else other, th other than phones or tablets do you imagine this being applied um, right. you know, in everyday so the, consumer electronics? Right, so there's no fundamental size limit to this, uh, the size of screens we can make with this. We've made, we routinely make sizes all the way from smartphones up to 14, 15 inch screens here at Detectus today. Uh, the other applications, really, it's really wherever there's a touchscreen, we can improve the usability by making that touchscreen dynamically tactile. Certainly one of, beyond mobile computing, smartphones, tablets, even, even in sort of ultrabooks which are getting touchscreens. There's also a lot of interest in the automotive market, as is another example, where making the, the, a lot of touchscreens tactile, dynamically tactile, fits, fixes a usability issue with, with, with touchscreens in cars. So that's, what, that's one example, but really what we're seeing is as we've gone out and talked about this publicly, a huge number of markets coming, uh, customers in a huge number of markets coming to us and saying, we want to use this. We have a problem with our user interface that we think you can uniquely solve with your solution. Yeah. Well, there's definitely a lot of intrigue out there about mm -hmm. um, about this because I know, I, as myself included, I get very frustrated yep. with using my the touchscreen on my iPhone. So thank you for talking to us. Very interesting stuff. And you guys look out for Tactus. Thank you.